everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Cabin, and we are playing more Egypt Old Kingdom. So we are gonna start over. If you missed our last episode, things just went way south there at the end. We ended up losing like four of our workers in like the last two turns, three on the last turn alone. Um, like two from just one accursed forest. It was just like, oh my gosh. Plus we had a drought uh, going on that we were gonna end up failing the objective for that. And we we're trying to build some tombs, but we were gonna fail that as well because uh, we were losing pretty much every resource because of um, upkeep issues and we just didn't have enough workers uh, to continue on so I don't think failing those missions would have like screwed us over um, like I think we probably could have still kept playing the game but I think I want to start over now that we understand the game a little bit better uh, we're gonna keep the same difficulty and we're gonna play anyways um, yeah I think we're gonna just keep it on the same difficulty because um, I think we had a good shot. We just, um, we misbuilt a couple things. Like, there was a couple areas where, hey, we could have, um, we could have, like, maybe built the proper building there. And then we had to, like, tear one down and build a different one. And just, I think we're off to a really, really bad start. So, go ahead and you grab our second pop right away. All right, so Poge, we're just going to send you over here and wait three turns. Um, I would love to get a workshop down early. But that requires 12. And we actually can't do that. I would also love to cut you up and gain um, berries, which we'll want to do at some point. But first, let's go explore this next territory. Uh, I know about exploration. That's what we're trying to do. Maybe we just want to go on easy. <laughs> just so we get a slightly better start. So we could do this, and we could actually come here and harvest these. Yeah, let's try harvesting the berries really quick. And we can get um, probably another worker. It's just such a slow start, which I just don't like. And now we have the hyenas here, which are causing us to lose a bunch of stuff. Um, okay, well, let's wait one turn. Let's get that fixed. So now we have plenty of food. And then what we can do is we can actually come here and kill the hyenas. We have a 30% chance, and that's going to give us a production boost, which is then going to allow us to uh, build our workshop here, which should hopefully fix our negative luxuries. Um, over here... Give us one extra food per turn. Yeah, we don't have a workshop yet, so give me the one extra food per turn. I think that's going to be okay. So we did kill the hyenas. So now we want to go ahead and grab me my workshops, uh, which we're going to be okay there. And let's go ahead and just straight gather. Yeah, and then that's going to give me enough for another worker. So I would love to do this, but that's not too good for us right now because we're not actually really generating much. We're also not really generating any food right now either. No, we're not. So maybe it's just better for us to do protection from two common negative effects. And honestly, 10% right now? We're only making one. <laughs> so 10% of that's 0.1. So it might just be better for us to wait. So we met Kanan. I don't know where they are, but we met them. So, all right, we got our first building down. We're no longer losing any luxuries. We can't build anything here until we get the thickets, so that's okay. Because uh, we don't have the tech for that. Alright, so we shielded from Seth. Good, 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 good. And I think we're going to go ahead and straight grow. Probably should have you working here, just for the heck of it. And then let's keep sending you out, just to get a little bit of extra exploration going. And we're off to a good start little bit of a slow start to be honest but I think we're fine we met the cat people and they like us they like us a lot so we'll probably end up friending them up then all right so I want to give our workshop more stuff so what does it look like for me to Trade gives 0.5 relations. Gives me a little extra amenities. That's 0.8, so we would be losing some. If I've got them at 100%. Can we do this right away? Yes. So I feel like trading at this point's better. Because we can just at least get our relations a little bit higher every turn if we can subjugate them that's going to give us a lot of extra uh, resources per turn so i think let's roll with this Ooh, okay 
So, Achaea trees are great. Um, if we build the building, though, it does remove them. So what we might as well do is just chop them down for a one-time boost. Yeah. But we don't actually need production right now, so let's just keep exploring. But before we actually need production, let's go ahead and chop that down. Or if we do need production, let's go chop it down. We might want to go a little bit quicker eventually. Here's the thing. I was thinking about maybe actually going with improved relations. I almost want to build a barracks, but I think I need... I think I want one more person before we build a barracks. So... Because we're going to need the amenities eventually. Okay, so we can actually... Uh, one time three... All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So we're at six to six now <laughs> with a lot of extra food. That's good, that's good. That's interesting. Yeah, that was a ton of freaking uh, people right now. So what was, uh, we are losing a little bit of culture per turn, but 20% is not that big of a deal right now. Uh, we need to assimilate our neighbors. Which we want to be peaceful or military. That's fine. I don't think our army is any bigger because we have extra workers right now. Uh, if we go ahead and improve relations, we would be losing 0.6 food at 0.1 production, 0.1 amenities. How many turns would this be? 71. So 19. No, 29. So 10 turns essentially. 10 turns of removing uh, point. Five. So that's going to be five total. I think let's roll with that for a couple turns. Then I won't put you down here. I'm going to put you here. Because we're having too much food right now. Or we're, we're, we're needing more food, rather. At least we have a decent amount of production right now. Uh, and in fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and just knock you out. Although we are having a lot. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Nah, I don't want to lose any more because of spoilage. Then we'll send you over here just to explore. I think this one's good for now. Even though it does very little for us. But, And I don't want to grow our population. We do want to build some houses because I would like to grow our population. We just can't right now. Put you here and let's go ahead and straight up build a grain field. And we'll be good for that. And then that might actually curve off my food negatives. Okay. I think we're I think we're in an okay spot. You're at 77 now, so you're getting closer. We do want to get these houses built, but let's finish that one first. Yep, 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 yep. Language barrier. So we get a little extra culture per turn. Okay. And so now I'm gonna work on knocking you down, which means we're gonna be losing food, but that's okay. We have an abandoned settlement, which gives us a one-time random resources, and then more trees here. I also want to get our military higher. That's the other thing that we're going to want to work on. Yeah, give me more culture. More culture means we can get more tech quicker. So, you got three turns on that. You're exploring. I think I'm actually going to take you over here. Yeah, yeah. 83%, we're getting closer. We will probably straight build the houses as soon as we finish that. Okay, there went the Seth negative again. So that was both of our, so we protected against, um, well, that was all of our bonus then, I think, from the cold. So we got some hyenas over here. Which we could kill for more production. I don't think they're giving me anything right now. Can't build anything because it's a swamp either. I thought we were exploring one other tile. Maybe not. I'll put you over here in the water. Usually water gets, um, early on, gets you some pretty good stuff. I could do the uh, Pata again. I think I want to do more two common negative events. That really came and helped us. Okay, so 1.2 food, which is pretty much par for the course right now. Still better than that one. Okay, so first thing I want to do is build a house. We're losing quite a bit of that. Uh, and then I might actually want to build some barracks here. So what if we chop this down? We're losing food. 
That's okay. We can have you there. Yeah, I think this is good. I think this is a good start. 92%, so 95%. Men of the Cat Tribe and our tribe want to go hunting together. Ooh, yeah. So we will definitely improve. Chance for divine approval, or we can pay... You know what? Screw it. Let's pay two. Twice. So we're at 72% chance. Yes, it was successful. So we got plus 25% uh, relations, and we also simulated a little bit more. So... Simulate 300 clans. How many clans have we totally assimilated? I don't think it's told us. So we're at 100% now? Good, 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 good. So we want to pay, uh, patronize. And we have a 30% chance to subdue. We have a 1 in 3% chance to subdue. Okay, what's our next tech? So this gives me a little more favor. Don't really care. This gives me uh, more culture. And then this one gives me uh, more military. We can't do the military yet, so we're going to work on the culture. Um, speed that up. We are going to get that military here pretty quickly, though. Um, How's it coming out next turn? Good. So now we're at 6 to 10. And grab another pop. And let's have you keep exploring. We failed the 30%. Ah, man. So I need to actually just go back and trade with you then for a little bit. Because we failed that. I don't know the progress we made. I don't know if we're going to lose it again. But that's okay. That's okay. You got two more turns left on that. And then we're going to build our military building. Our military is getting really tiny. So, we initialize Seth again. Suck it, Seth. Why are you such a dick, Seth, man? <laughs> I should go back and look at our history a little more, or the history of it, because I don't really understand why. So, yes, we want to get you going. We got plenty of production for that, 816.24. Yeah, we're fine there. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and grow it a little bit. And we're actually gaining military now, um, but we'll be gaining even quicker once we get that building up. Uh-oh, a cursed forest. Yep, yep, nope, nope, nope. We learned our lesson. And man-eating lions. Oh, my lord. So 24% or a cursed place. 40% of resources every turn. Now, we're going to kill... We're going to kill the hunters, the lions, first. We got 30% chance. Uh, We're at 1.5 now? So we can do it three turns. And it did reset, so. Uh, theoretically, we're going to be at 30, 33, and 36%. So, that's basically three, one and three percent chances. And we're going to have three chances before we run out of luxuries. So, theoretically, we should be able to knock that out. Okay. Please get the lines. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we assimilated them. Hell yeah. So, tribe subdued. So, they're giving us a little extra food every turn. Nice. Uh, now, he wants us to build a temple. For a one-time culture thing. Okay. So you are my friend now. And you're paying me nothing. So hopefully you keep exploring. We're losing production because we're building that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need you to purge, please. And I guess we're going to build a temple here. Depending on how these buildings work out. Um. Yeah, make me a little more. Oh, actually, I don't think I can build a temple yet, can I? No, I can't. Concept of multiple souls. Way down there, so. Okay. So we can probably just keep building what we want to build and then worry about that later. Uh, when can we get thickets built? Removed. Okay, we can already do them. So we can come build over here then. Uh, did we not just explore? Oh, we explored there and we're clearing it out. Yeah, 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 I remember. So then, what do we want to gain right now? We are losing production. And we're not building. So, I suppose let's go with the production. For the time being. We're also losing food. Treachery is set stopped. Okay, okay. Yeah, we just have too large of a population right now. We just can't support it. 
Uh, also, the building upkeep kind of sucks. So, yeah, give me a little more food then. Ooh, okay. Pastures or grain fields? I don't have pastures. I'm more likely to have fields. Or we could do this one, which gives us more tech. Now, let's get the food going. Or one single field. More lions. Dang it. And actually, a really good spot to build some houses. So, go ahead and kill the lions again. And then we'll probably build some houses here. And we might uh, tear down these houses then. I suppose we could just keep them. And there's no reason not to have multiple houses. We don't really need other houses right now, though, either. That's the other thing. Okay, so we managed to integrate ourselves with the local culture. So we got a one-time uh, boost. And we completed the trial. Hell yeah. So then that allows me to get more tech. Get more amenities, more production. Yep. 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 So production's now evened up. I would love... You know what we're going to do? We're going to build a house here. And then I'm going to switch you to a workshop. Because I want to get another workshop going. And we actually have more tech here. So give me more science. The food is good. Um, and I don't know how many more... I don't know how many more protections from Seth we still have. Do we use both of them? Because it might not be a bad idea for us to protect again. We also unlock the next tier, guys. Which I don't think I care about. Let's do protection from Seth again. Because Seth is a dick, dude. <laughs> I don't think I realized how many negative events he threw, to, threw at me last time. Okay, so houses are about to be finished. So we might as well go ahead and rip up these houses then. We're just basically going to swap out. So, there you go. And that gave me one extra pop because of the 25% limit. And then, uh, I want to build myself another workshop. Treacherous Chef, stop. Heck yeah, dude. Piss off, dude, by the way, Seth. <laughs> no one loves you. Our amenities are really good. We really need to get... Oh, we can actually get more population. Did we just get it this turn? Uh, no, we actually had it last turn, I think, maybe. Because we want to keep exploring here. You know, let's do here first. Let's just flush out our whole area. Uh, technology, sure. A little more growth. Pastures, yeah, but we don't have anything for pastures yet. We could probably build a pasture up here. You know what? We're making plenty of food. Let's keep exploring. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need any more population right now, so I think we're okay. Uh, I would like to grow our production. We could also grow our army. But let's grow our production right now. Because we have two workshops knocked out, so... Yeah, yeah. Ascended Outsider. One of our people is accepted in the Cat Tribe, so our relations are up with them. Okay. We can now build a pasture over here. Which would give us... What's the cemetery give you? Yeah, see, I don't really care about getting more favor. Gives you more growth, a little more food, so it'd be 1.1. So the fields are going to be better, but it also gives you 0.5 production. But we have two workshops right now, so I don't think we actually need that. I'm just going to keep exploring. I was just kind of comparing what the pasture versus the fields do early on. Um, wars in Upper Egypt, so we get a one-time population boost. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. If I build a farm here, it gets rid of the Fertile Glade, so we might as well chop up the Fertile. We're losing a little bit of food right now, but it's not that big of a deal. Arox will actually give us more food here. And then there's an abandoned settlement. So you know what? Let's go Let's go search the abandoned settlement. I think we might actually go try uh, friending up the Arox, because putting then a, uh, a pasture there is going to be really good for us early on. We still have one extra dude not doing anything, so keep exploring. And let's hit next turn. So remember, these are... Oh, they did expand the cat people. Okay. They're not really giving us hardly anything. Remember, we're only getting a small portion of what they're making, so... I think we're off to a much, 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 much better start than we did last time. There are some antelopes here, which we can kill for a food boost. Oh, no, they would actually increase our growth here. Eh. But we can never build anything there. But it's still a decent enough territory as is. Now, well, let's just keep exploring. I don't know, Waldy. 
You have sent a worker to hunt in a Waldi. A Waldi is a seasonal stream only full of water during the wet season. You cannot build here. Hmm. It's funny that it's a Waldi because it doesn't really, like, I would figure it'd be kind of over here by the river, but whatever. Colts, um, protect again. And let's see, we can do a little more growth. And our barracks are going to give us more, yeah, yeah. So it gave us more population, it gave us a heck of a lot of more uh, army production, and then it gave us more production as well, so that was a very good tech for us. We will grab the next person. Screw you, Seth. <laughs> I don't like you, man. Oh, God, he's such a dick. I hope I can say dick on YouTube without it flagging. Well, we'll see. Because I've said it like five times, so we'll see if this video stays monetized. If you guys watched a commercial before the video, then it's probably monetized. But it's kind of hit, hit or miss, because, you know, they don't always play commercials before your video. Dang it. Dang it. Okay, Cursed Tree, go away. We have to remove you right away. Hyenas. I think we're just going to go hunt you right away. Take care of it. I don't care about either of those. Unfortunately, it means we're not doing anything spectacular right now. Oh, okay, so we did end up doing whatever you were doing before, so I want you to come worship this guy. We're not gonna be gaining any food, but I want those aurochs on my side. It's gonna take a long time, but long term, I think that's gonna be okay for us. Yeah, interesting. I didn't realize that's a thing. They have, like, uh, ancestral lands. Hmm, okay. We can get one more technology. This gives me a little more favor. That's fine. I don't really find favor that useful this early in the game, but okay. All right, so we took care of you, so let's go explore over there. They explore, um, they grew one more time, so we made just a little bit, or we're making just a little bit extra food. Uh, I don't think we need to protect against Seth right now. We could grow a little more food. Here's the thing, our production is pretty high right now, and the higher production gets, the more we're gonna lose. Um, so maybe we should just start building. Actually, I don't know why I didn't build here grain fields. You should have been, or even flax. Nah, we need food. Yeah, I should just be building everywhere. Anyone else working something that, we could take you off and go build somewhere. You're healing the accursed lands. That's not particularly great over there, so yeah, we'll just leave you here. That's fine. So I don't really need production. So we could grow this, which is going to give us more culture. Yeah, screw it. Let's do more culture. And then it's going to give me a little more in the army, too. All right, so crocodiles. Screw you, Seth. I hate you so much. So we do have a chance of death here, so we have to kill these guys. What's the relations at? 38. Eh. If it was like 67, I probably would have made them friendly. But the funny thing is they could actually kill our neighbor. Not necessarily me. Uh, what are we at over here? 26. I should probably just hunt them because of how low it is, but whatever. We started it. We're going to finish it. So we got our fields finished. Good, good, good. We need 14 here, so we're getting close. Keep it next turn. We still have yet to kill these crocs. They're freaking 40% now. 45% now. Lion people. Hello. And we're losing some food every turn. That sucks. I think we're going to probably go attack the lion people. It's my assumption. Why are you doing just hanging out over there, man? Hello. They have 18 against our 70. Oh, yeah. We're going to launch a raid. We're gonna force them to uh, pay us stuff. Uh, the other thing is we could we can't quite do subjugation yet because we need ancestral land of lion tribe. Oh, so this isn't their home territory. Gotcha. Let's do Seth again. I'm doing more of that Seth than I probably ever have before. Grain fields, flax fields. We only have like one. So you know what, let's do this so we can get more culture quicker. Although concept of multiple souls allows me to build the temple. But where am I gonna build the temple? Yeah, nowhere yet. 
Probably right there. So we're a little bit away. We need to do a little more exploring, I guess. Okay, so we did clear you off. Um, they're dead. So let's come explore over here. I don't care that we're losing a little bit of food. Doesn't matter. All right, we found more lion people. We got one-time boost of food. Nice. Uh, unfortunately, this is where I wanted to build our temple. Dang it. So we could come over here and trash you, and that might actually be able to get it, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we get more than 1.2 food? No. Downside is we can't build on either of these, but we can drain the swamp. But it's going to take four turns. Okay, we have to drain both of these. Oh, that's so terrible. So, I guess give me the 1.2 then. Yeah, all right, here goes our battle. We're gonna gamble defend. Why are we losing so much? Thank you. So we got a one-time boost of food and production. That's fine. And we're gonna go ahead and devastate them. Because screw those guys. So... Development, negative 10%. We're pillaging, so their production is... Wow, terrible. We might as well... I think we're just gonna go ahead and launch a raid here. Actually, you know what? We should find... Let's find their homeland. Because if we find their homeland, then we can... Um, we have enough food, we can grab another person, but I don't think I want to. Because uh, our food's already an issue. Yeah, but we can work another tile. We got them up to... Neutral. Now, are we already gaining the food production from this? I don't, I think we are getting 0.3 from them. So I don't, do we even need them to be friendly with us? Eh, let's do this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and clear the swamp. I think we're gonna try building some more fields here. Our production is going down a little bit. So we want to um, probably get some stuff that's gonna help our production. And let's go ahead and do the temples. And how long have we been going? 27, so we probably should wrap this up. But let's see if this is the homeland for the lion. It's not their ancestral homeland. Dang it. So it probably is up here. Yeah, they ended up leaving that tile. However, building a workshop here is going to be awesome for us because there's flint. Uh, we're going to protect from Seth. Even though I still think we have an extra one, but... The game's so much easier when we're not having to worry about Seth every freaking turn. Dang it. We didn't find him. So we have a new trial that's going to require food, uh, production, army, and favor. Our production's not great right now. Why is our production so bad? Spoilage and upkeep. Makes sense. Are we building anything right now? No. So I'm build a flax field here, I think. Make a little bit more production. We can also go ahead and build a temple over here. The downside is like... Oh, you know what we need over here? We need a pasture is what we need. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it this way. I don't need to work your tile, but we can build something over there eventually. Um... We could get food and production from this. So, you know what? Let's go raid them. Let's go raid them again. Here's Divine Grace. Lucky in addition. So we get a surplus of food. So give me... Um, we're about to get a bunch of food. So give me the favor then. And we get a one-time boost of amenities. Or luxuries. Yeah, I think that's all good. Uh... They ended up building houses here. 
Okay, so we got our pasture, so now we're making decent production. We got a flax field. So our production's pretty decent now. Scorpion, hey, what's up? Upper Egypt has entered final stage of unification. Here we go. Chief wants to receive support from the gods of the cat tribe and reinforce our bonds with them. He asks the gods whether they approve of a joint ritual. So we have an 80% chance right now. I mean, 80% chance, man, I think seems fine. Sure. 100% chance. Let's just make sure it happens. So we get a one-time relation bonus, and... Well, here's the thing. So we ended up spending four, and we got ten. So, cool. Nice. Technology? Yes. We want both of our fields. I think we still have one more Seth event left. So give me the luxuries... Yeah. And our raid is about to go off. Three turns. Okay, so let's finish the raid and then we'll go from there. I need to build a temple. Where was the workshop? Oh, yeah, yeah, we want to build another workshop over here. I don't really care about these houses. I still would like to find their ancestral home, too. Oh, we found it. Our troops are already busy. So actually forget that. Let's go ahead and launch it here. Let's subjugate them. And then we have enough production now. We can go build ourselves a temple. Jeez. 17? What? 20 per turn and four amenities. Oi. So 20, 40, 60, 80 production. Yeah, so we can't afford that yet. Right? 17, so that's 34. No, we can't afford that yet. Hmm. Dang, okay. Where can we get a little more production? We can come here, hunt these guys. Give me a little more production that way. And let's clear, drain the swamps here. I know we're losing food, but that's fine for the time being. And we could come and hunt the Aurochs to so get another production boost. Actually, that's just a food boost. But let's just make a little more stuff that way. All right, I think we're going to wrap this episode up here. We're in a pretty decent position so far. We have one tribe under our control. We're about to get the second tribe under our control in four turns. Um, our resources, I mean, we're in the green across the board, so I'm happy enough with that. Um, oh, okay, so we still have shield against Seth. And then we should be able to get a temple here pretty quickly. So, yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and share your support. I'll see you guys later. Bye.